topic and this is end wall or cable, uh, gable steel column uh, creation in Tecla structures so we are still detailing the end wall or the gable side of our structure here so the connection we want to create is between the rafters and the gable column steel steel columns so the tools you know where to get them uh, it's under applications and components and to get to applications and component we'll, we click by left clicking on that button right there so in here you just type the tool or type of connection or the number of the macro and it will be it will pop up here or just type any number and uh, the number that, uh, the, the macro that falls within that number you, you will have everything on this side so if you are working with peb i just type peb and all the peb tools will be presented to me here now in this particular case i want to use this particular connection for the gable side connection so once i've picked on that i'll get instruction from the from my left at the end here here where i'm mousing here as uh, i'm being instructed to select the main component so the main component uh, this time around let me pick uh, the rafter and pick the column so let's just give you some time to create a connection so the connection has been created so let me just come here you can see some there's some protrusion of this part of the column i can come here and sell and pick on and select uh, peb uh, peb peb member update i can just click there and it will be updated and the right connection will be will be will be created so if i come here i'll be able to start uh, doing uh, detailing this this connection so we have this in place and uh, we can go further and uh, start adding more details by by double clicking on it once i've double clicked on it i'll give some time to load all those instructions so i have my uh, my my editor dialog box or property dialog box in place so in here is where i'm going to feed in or fix or key in all the details that i need now as it is uh, here i think is much better for me but i'll just have to take you through on how this should be done let me just come here and click load and click modify so if i click modify i'll be able to have completed that connection but i'll take you tab to tab on what uh, details that i had entered there so let me just give some time to process that information then we'll move tab to tab to, to display the, the the settings that i had keyed in there so let me just to give you some time and I click apply and give it okay if you want to walk away with that command so you can see i have this in place so if i go tab to tab by clicking picture you'll see you'll see the details i, I had entered there an offset of a 90 and offset of 90 and on the ball section i keyed all these balls here one two three four five six and uh, number one this side yes we, we always use this side uh, on the other side just to feed in zero so that you, you don't get messed up with so many balls in place so i've showed you that i'll come to parts that part i had given it uh, 250 and the thickness 10 and the beam plate i can just leave, leave it as it is the long stiffeners just leave it as it is it's not such an important information to key in stiffeners also you we can work we can extend the stiffeners as you had done before by keying in the the heights of there and you can see i left if i enable all these if i enable all these stiffeners let me just uh, let me just copy first then get rid of that if i enable all those stiffeners that were, were here we'll see how the stiffeners are crowding this part so I don't need all this. So I had to delete everything because to delete, you have to count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I had to delete some of them. So I, I came here and copy pasted that. I'll come here and copy paste that. I'll key in the number of stif in the stiffeners I want to get rid of. Uh, one, I want to get rid of one, four, and seven here. So that's why I, keyed, uh, I typed that and I click modify. And once I click modify, I'll delete they are necessary stiffeners that were, were were fixed there so if i come to rotate i'll be able to rotate that and I have that in place so i'll go to uh, column by column and now start placement of the stiffeners 
of the co connection between the rafters and the column. So let me pick on that. And I'll come here and pick that as the main member, pick that as secondary member, and give some time to process the information. As I go, pick that and pick that and, uh, and give some time to process the information. So let me just zoom out and pick this and that and give it some time to process the information and do this here. So once I've done so, I'll move to the other side and do exactly the same thing by clicking the main part as the rafter, secondary part as the column, and come here and pick the rafter, the main part, the, the column as the secondary part, and come here, the, pick the apex, and pick this as the secondary part, and I'll come here and do the same thing, and pick that as the secondary part, and come here and do the, exactly the same thing, and pick here, this one as the secondary part. Now, on the apex here, I don't want this stiffener to stretch all the way to the other end, so I want what I want to do is just to double click on it. So once I've double clicked on it, I want to get rid of those stiffeners that that, that, uh, that are protruding upward here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on it. So once I double click on it, I'll be able to now disable the stiffeners on the apex or on the on the on the apex side. So if I come here, I'll be able now to maybe come to stiffeners there. So under stiffeners, I'll just give some time to load that information. Under stiffeners, I'll uh, go to the direction where I'll be able to see the stiffeners and uh, the thickness that I didn't enter there. So let me just come to picture here. So under picture, I need a type of stiffeners that will that will not have this one. So if I pick on that and click enter there, so let's see whether uh, that information will be processed will be processed with our stiffeners at the bottom end here in, remains intact. So let's just wait for the result when that information that we just keyed in or typed is being processed. So we've left out that. So let me just give it some time to process that that those has been left out. So we have the, just this one in place. So we can just go further and also enable the stiffeners on this far end. So I can just go ahead and get rid of this and click modify so the moment i click modify I'll, I'll get back these stiffeners in place so you can see we have so many stiffeners on this side so we can go ahead on the opposite direction and do exactly the same thing on the apex so if you come here and double click on this and double click on this we'll be able to uh, apply the same same approach so let me pick uh, select the uh, the apex the the picture tab and i'll come here and select on that i mean come here and select on that and select the one that has that that does not have uh, that stiffeners protruding upward so let me come here on the stiffeners also the, on this stiffener tab and i want to get rid of all this i don't want to delete any stiffener on the on the web so once I've done so, I'm going to apply or uh, click modify. So uh, once I've done so, I'm going to close this editor dialog box or property dialog box. Then I refresh so that we have a closer look of what we, we've, we've, we've achieved. So let me left click on empty screen, then right click and come to redraw. So once I'm in withdraw here, I redraw, I'll come and uh, pick my rotation point and rotate this. So you can see how this has been created nicely done and uh, super nice you can see that so if i turn it around you can also come to this section and you can see that but if i refresh my if i refresh my 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 pep member all this uh, this is just temporary it, it will disappear and sometime after, after some time if i come on my pep here and uh, select on refresh uh, pep member uh, you, you lose those unnecessary parts so you can see this one uh, it hasn't moved but uh, we'll just give some time to process that information so we just leave it and uh, it will get it will be off at some point so you can see this one also it hasn't moved has not disappeared this one has disappeared but we'll refresh everything and uh, we get rid all of them if necessary but if they're not leaving anytime soon we'll change the design 
where we have the stiffeners here. So it's all about that, and I hope you've learned something. And we'll move to a different topic, and you can see our structure is coming bit by bit and very, very attractive. So I can see even the opposite direction here, we still have these components, this member protruding all the way up. So it's always advisable you counter check your connection prior to uh, moving ahead or to a different step. So in here, I'm going to I'm going to just disable that and click apply, and uh, let's see what's what's going to happen there. I'm going to I'm going to select on that once again. Let me click on this. Give some time, still processing the, inf the information. I've just clicked and it's something there. So that's why you see it is a kind of dragging and you can see that has changed and that has changed. And you can go ahead and click apply and give it an okay. So this should not bother you. This is, is once you give the instruction, it will be changed. It will change automatically. So let me just double click on it just to see uh, how it responds. So if I come here, and select on that and click modify and I'll be able to get that information right on the spot and if it doesn't respond we give it a different a different uh, uh, connection type so that you don't want to see this side of the of the flange extending all the way to the other side of uh, the rafter so that's not right so that I've, cho I've showed you how we, we can change that by selecting on that so just click on empty screen we'll close this then don't forget to save your work. I'll come and save this work. So let's meet meet, meet then on a different topic, and we, uh, that one will be now we can uh, start placement of the mezzanine columns here, and maybe the joist or beam uh, mezzanine uh, me beam beams for the mezzanine. So let's meet then on the, on the, on that on a different topic, and bye bye.